day five of ITMO 2015 here in Milan and it's WTIN's last highlights video. Let's go inside and check out the best bits. The theme of sustainability is now a permanent fixture in textile production and ITMAR has only emphasised the progress that is being made. A project funded by the European Union 7th Framework Programme has just come to fruition, coordinated by fibre manufacturer TWI. The idea behind the project was to certainly develop fibres and textiles which would first generate energy, solar, solar powered fibres and, and also store the energy, so effectively battery. In this case we're using supercapacitors as the, as the energy storage mechanism. The, the project started, uh, it was first coordinated and initiated by, by TWI and uh, we are the coordinate, coordinators of the project. But we've, we've had uh, 11 other partners in the project, all, all working on, on different areas, uh, the materials for the solar and the energy storage, the fibres, the fibre making, and, and then the textile making, the interconnect, obviously there's some electronic and electrical interconnects to be carried out, and then we've, we've had some great ideas for applications, uh, two, two large area application studies looking at uh, firstly greenhouses and uh, secondly airships. Once, once we have the opportunity to put them into textiles, then it, it provides a, an almost, well, almost invisible way of, of putting energy generation into, into say, garments, uh, into larger products such as sails or tents, and, and then also possibilities for making flexible panels which can be easily transported and taken to places which, which do not have a, a local power supply. Confidence in textiles has been the motto of Sustainable Standards Assessor Urquitex and it seems that textile manufacturers are buying into this. Transparency becomes more and more important as uh, the demand from the market as well uh, from different initiatives uh, but also from um, big brands. The pressure on them also to, to be more transparent from where textiles are coming from uh, it becomes more and more important. Offering a complete solution for industrial digital textile printing, ELF launched its new printer this week and this sits opposite Epson, Robustelli and Fortex's new Mona Lisa printers in Hall 18. The market is really changing, the market is really uh, improving the speed, the quality, so the level of expectation in the market is highly demanding. That's why we are introducing here two evolution of, uh, two model evolution of the existing line. Uh, we have on this uh, left side, we have uh, the Mona Lisa Evo 3, which is uh, the existing uh, mechanic with the added uh, new heads. So we have uh, finally introduced uh, a new generation of head that has been uh, uh, used in this new uh, Evo 3. Uh, and this is uh, therefore improving massively uh, the performances. It's actually twice the speed of the existing Mona Lisa, uh, capable to reach uh, 740 square meter per hour. On the right side we have the uh, Mona Lisa Vinci, which is uh, still a prototype. We are introducing it here as a, as a new uh, um, way to show uh, the, the te technology uh, and uh, this is really the state of the art uh, for a scanning printing device and is capable to deliver up to a thousand square meters per hour. 